Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how I created something cute on the shoes that I got from Toesmith. You can either get your shoes customized from them or you can choose from the variety of different patterns they provide. I chose the plain ones so that I can create something different for myself. I'll also add a link in my description box so that you can check them out if you like. The best part about them is that they are made of memory foam and also rugged fabric body so that they are durable enough. I'll be using Fevicryl acrylic colors that come in a pack of 10. They are pretty vibrant colors which work well on fabric surface. And I'll be using Faber Castle synthetic brushes to work with. I'll be making some cute food illustrations on my shoe. Starting with the donut first, for that you need to make an oval shape on the corner of your shoe. Then make some wavy lines to make the drizzle dripping over the donut. To make the whole of the donut, make two curved lines facing each other. Now we'll make a macaroon. For this you need to make a semicircle at the top and a very thin semicircle at the bottom and in between make some squiggly lines to show the layers of the macaroon. Now we'll be making an ice cream cone. For this you need to make a rectangle at the top and two standing lines at the bottom so that it looks like it's standing behind the donut. To make the swirl on the cone, you need to make a cloud-like structure but the top should be a little bit pointy. One ice cream wasn't enough so we'll be making a popsicle too. For this you need to make an inverted U and join that U from below with a straight line. Now make a stick of the popsicle with an elongated U shape. Our drawing is complete now. You can pour some water in slow motion to make it aesthetically appealing for yourself. However, this step is completely optional, you can do it normally too. Before you start painting, don't forget to remove the laces from the shoes so that they don't come in the way of your paint. I'll start with mixing white with some ultramarine blue to create a very subtle and pastel light blue color. into it so that it creates a beautiful lilac color. I have decided to paint the quarters of my shoe which are basically the sides of my shoes. So here I am painting one quarter of my shoe with the lilac color which I created. And make sure that you mix enough color so that you don't miss out on any surface area. Now to paint the other side of my shoe, I will mix white with ultramarine blue to create a powder blue color. Make sure you use little bit of blue and more of white to create this particular shade. Working with paint on a fabric surface sometimes gets a little bit tricky because the colors don't spread evenly on the area. So make sure that you use a little bit of water to bring it to a consistency that spreads smoothly on the surface area. Now let this air dry or you can use a dryer too. Now I'll mix the white color with burnt sienna to create a pastel brown color or a mustard color and paint the donut leaving the drizzle area. Now I 
I'll take brown or burnt sienna and outline my donut to create a little bit of depth to it. To create the strawberry drizzle on my donut, I'll mix deep grilled purple or hot pink with white color and create a very light pink hue. You can now add some more pink to the same shade and create a darker color and outline the drizzle. For macaroons, I'll mix white with a little bit of orange to create a pastel orange shade. color the layers of the macaroon. Now mix white with lemon yellow and fill in the rest of the area of the macaroon. color the cone of my ice cream. A little bit of lemon yellow, orange and more of white to create a butterscotch shade for your swirl. Here I am using deep grill purple or hot pink for my popsicle. Add a little bit of white on the top left corner of the popsicle so that it looks like someone has taken a bite out of it. Add some white strokes to make the sprinkles on the donut. You can add highlights on the swirl using some white color. Now using a very thin brush, outline these illustrations with black color. inside the area where you have painted to create a comic effect.
Our design is finally complete now. You can choose to add more elements to it if you wish to. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do mention it in the comment section below. You can share your creations with me on my Instagram handle which I have mentioned in the description below. I would love to see them. I'll be sharing more such fun tutorials so don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye.